in this video uh, we will see plant kingdom part 3 starts with gymnosperms gymnosperms are naked seed bearing plants the seeds are naked because ovule is not enclosed by ovary wall that is seeds are not enclosed in fruit then second point is about their habit most of them are trees both mid sized and tall trees the tallest tree that is sequoia commonly known as giant redwood is a gymnosperm then few of them are shrubs so both trees and shrubs are found in gymnosperms then about the plant body here the main plant body is sporophyte which is well differentiated into root stem and leaf next about the morphology that's first about root generally tap root is seen in uh, gymnosperms and then mycorrhiza is seen in some species of gymnosperms mycorrhiza symbiotic association between fungus and roots of higher plants mycorrhiza is seen in pinus then another speciality is coralloid root coralloid root is seen in a gymnosperm named cycas coralloid root is having nitrogen fixing symbiotic cyanobacteria then next about stem stem can be either uh, branched or unbranched unbranched stem is seen in cycas branched stem is seen in pinus or cedrus then next about leaves leaves in gymnosperm can be either a uh, symbol or compound pinnate leaves are seen in uh, cycas which may persist for many years then needle like see leaf seen in conifers this is to withstand extremes of uh, humidity temperature etc that means uh, the leaves are well adapted to withstand extreme conditions then thick cuticle sunken stomata are also seen um, to reduce transpiration gymnosperms are heterosporous heterosporous means they have a small microspore and large megaspore spore producing structure is known as sporangia sporangia are born on sporophyll sporophyll form compact structures known as strobili or lax or corn all the three terms are given in ncrt then microsporophyll microsporophyll form male strobili or it is known as microsporangiate megasporophyll forms female strobili or it is known as macrosporangiate then if the male corn and female corn are born on the same tree then it is termed as monoecious monoecious means bisexual both male corn and female corn are found on the same tree example pinus then if both are born on different trees that is unisexual male corn in one tree and female corn in other tree example cycas dioecious example cycas then this microspore develops to form male gametophyte the development of microspore takes place inside microsporangia and this male gametophyte in gymnosperm is known as pollen grain pollen grain we can say that it's a highly reduced uh, gametophyte compared to the previous groups like pteridophytes or bryophytes so this highly reduced male gametophyte is known as pollen grain it's multicellular but the number of cells is limited development of female gametophytes it takes place inside ovule ovule that is megasporangia then within the ovule there is a tissue known as nucellus which is deployed one cell of the nucellus differentiates to form megaspore mother cell which is also deployed this megaspore mother cell undergoes meiosis to form four haploid megaspores 
among the four, three degenerates, one becomes functional. That megaspore develops to form female gametophyte with two or more archegonia. Remember, archegonia is the female sex organ in gymnosperm also. So archegonia is the female sex organ from bryophytes to gymnosperms. Bryophytes, pterodophytes and gymnosperms. Then, next point, this gametophytes. In gymnosperms, gametophytes, both male and female gametophytes, do not have independent ex existence. They remain within the sporangia on sporophyte. The next about pollination, fertilization and development. Our gymnosperms, pollen grains are carried by air. That means wind is the only pollinating agent in gymnosperm. The pollen grains are deposited on the opening of the ovule. Then pollen tube, after pollination, this pollen tube carries the male gametes towards archegonia in the ovule. And this pollen tube discharges their contents, that means male gametes, near the mouth of archegonia, the female sex organ. Inside the archegonia, fertilization takes place, internal fertilization. And after fertilization, zygote develops to form embryo and ovule form seed. There is no ovary to form fruit. Next about angiosperms in detail. Here, angiosperms, the word meaning itself is angio means covering. Here seed is enclosed in fruit. And they are flowering plants. Pollen grains and ovule are produced inside a specialized in structures called flowers. And angiosperms range from microscopic wolfia to the tall trees of eucalyptus. The tallest angiosperm is eucalyptus. Tallest tree is giant redwood that is a gymnosperm. And then angiosperms are grouped into two classes uh, based on the number of cotyledon. So based on the number of cotyledon. Angiosperms are of two types, monocots and dicots. Monocots have single cotyledon, dicots have two cotyledons. Next about reproduction and development in angiosperm. Uh, sex organs. Male sex organ is known as stamen. Female sex organ is known as pistil. Here, remember, in the older versions of NCRT, female sex organ is given as pistil or carpel. But in the recent edition, that is 2020-2021 edition, it is corrected as pistil only. Then, angiosperms are heterosporous. That means they have both microspore and megaspore. Microspore develops to form male gametophyte, that is pollen grain. Then, megaspore forms female gametophyte within the ovule. That is megasporangium, megaspore mother cell. Ovule is deployed, megaspore mother cell is also deployed. This megaspore mother cell undergoes meiosis to form megaspore, which will develop to form an embryo sac. Embryo sac is nothing but the female gametophyte. Embryo sac is a seven celled, eight nucleate structure. It has a three-celled egg apparatus. The three cells are one egg cell plus two synergids. Then two polar nuclei, then three antipodals. These two polar nuclei eventually fuse to form a diploid secondary nucleus. And then after pollination, here pollination by means of various agents, not only wind, both the biotic and biotic pollinating agents are there. After pollination, pollen germinate and pollen tube grows through the style. To reach, it carries the male gametes and it grows uh, through the style towards the ovule. Pollen tube enters into the embryo sac where the male gametes are released. Out of the two male gametes, one male gamete fuses with egg and forms zygote, a diploid zygote. And this fusion is known as syngamy. 
the other male gamete fuses with diploid secondary nucleus to form a triploid pen that is primary endosperm nucleus and after fertilization zygote develops to form embryo pen develops to form endosperm endosperm to nourish the developing embryo here since two fertilization occurs at a time that is syngamy and triple fusion it is known as double fertilization double fertilization is an unique feature is a unique event seen in angiosperms and after fertilization synergids and antipodals degenerate ovules develops into seed ovary develops into fruit Plant Kingdom Part 3 is over. A small portion is remaining in this chapter that will be taken in a separate video. If you find this video helpful for NEET aspirants, please subscribe my channel and press the bell button also so that you will get all the uh, notifications from my channel. If you have any doubts regarding this topic, please comment below. Thanks for watching.